And welcome to my tiny kitchen. It may be tiny, but it's least tasteful. I mean, I love the granite, and the cupboards are, are decent. It's not a bad kitchen. Good, thank you. But there's you. one thing I'm not OK with. And I noticed it as soon as I walked in the house, and I didn't want to say it until I saw the evidence. <gasps> You are smoking in your house. Who smokes in their house nowadays? It's the only place I'm allowed to smoke. Smoke outside. You can't sell your house with smoke in it. I'll tell you what, a smoker won't even buy your house, Lynn. Really? Smoke will butt out buyers. And Paul, welcome to my basement. This is the green room. This is a dungeon. And this is where the 26-year-old lives. So your 26-year-old son lives in here. Yeah, by his choice. And whatever that room is, we're not really sure. That's the blue room. Hmm. Okay, two questions. Yes. One, do you have pets? Yes, I have several pets. Okay, and does that vacuum work? Very well. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the hair. Look, coming down the stairs, there's dog hair everywhere. There's cobwebs here, cobwebs above your head. Yes, there is. And your 26-year-old son lives down here? I'm trying to push him out. This is definitely not buyer-friendly. Nobody likes a home that's not clean. I Believe it or not, I vacuum every second day. Not down there, but upstairs, I vacuum every second day, and, and you wouldn't know it. You'd still think I was a slob. And I am. <laughs> Where are you taking me? To the far Is that corner. a cat down there? Could be. This is my scary powder room. Well, oh. it's not that bad, is it? I've seen truck stops that look better than this. Oh, I know. Oh, I don't use this bathroom. I won't even come in here. Lynn won't even go in her own bathroom. That tells you a lot. 